Hello, DPLA. So, a couple of years ago, a Wikipedian named Liam Wyatt had an idea that the Wikimedia projects should do more outreach to libraries and archives and museums. And he ended up being the first Wikipedian in residence at the British Museum, helping Wikipedians and curators alike share the museum's treasures with the world via Wikipedia articles. Other cultural institutions thought this was a cool idea as well. And today, there are Wikipedians in residence throughout the world in institutions like the Smithsonian and the National Archives. And there have been tremendous donations of archival materials to Wikimedia Commons, which is our immense free media repository, with images from NARA and many, many other sources, finding a new home and a new audience as freely licensed works that Wikimedians and everyone online can use. And I hope that we will link these collections to the DPLA, sharing tools and metadata as common community curated platforms. Why does this matter that cultural resources are now free on the web? It matters because among other things, it enables them to be seen and to be used. Wikipedia is by far the largest and most read reference work ever to exist in human history. And to make it great, to really cover all of human knowledge, we need to be able to access and share the vast riches that are in cultural institutions. Openness and free licensing for Wikipedia is not something that we simply pay lip service to. It's a concrete part of how we do our work, of how Wikipedia editors are able to use and curate information to make something useful for the world. And in turn, of course, all of the content on Wikimedia projects is free for reuse and remixing. An example is the Wikidata project being developed now by Wikimedia Germany, our chapter in Germany. Wikidata aims to be a central storehouse of semantic data that's tied to the Wikimedia projects so that, for instance, you could update the population of the United States in Wikidata and have it be automatically updated in all the Wikipedia articles in all 270 languages. And Imagine the power of linking all this shared data up to open databases of references, like, say, the Harvard Libraries catalog, and the way that Commons has opened up to the great archives of the world. And so I hope, too, that the DPLA will be a force for open data to help make this astonishing vision possible. But of course, all of these efforts are dependent on people, editing and compiling. When I look at a Wikipedia article, I don't just see text. I see the people behind it, the quirky, amazing people. We tend to talk about the Wikimedia community as if it were a monolith. But of course, it's made up of thousands of individuals, all doing different things from editing articles to fact-checking references to doing in-person outreach, like Liam. But all working under the same broad umbrella of shared values about free knowledge. And I think that the reason Wikimedia works, sometimes against all odds, is that every level of our organization and our projects is open to community contributions and community leadership. And so, more than anything, I hope that the DPLA follows the same model. I hope that it is open to all kinds of contributions, large and small, no matter what your talent or passion or position is. It's not easy to build a great information platform. We know it's not easy. And I see the difficulties from the library side as well in my job as a reference and collections librarian. We are fortunate at the University of California to have the strength of the UC Library Consortium and the California Digital Library behind us. Which means that the faculty and students that I support on a daily basis have access to phenomenal library resources. But that comes at a cost that's not just financial. 
From the behind the scenes perspective, wrangling those resources, licensing and managing them, negotiating with publishers, can feel like death from a thousand paper cuts. And all of that librarian effort means that UC researchers and scholars do have access to the books and journals that they need. But they are the lucky ones. Most of the half billion readers of Wikipedia from around the world can only imagine having such access to information. We can do better. And we must do better in order to fulfill our collective mission as research libraries, as academic institutions, as public libraries, as a free knowledge movement, and as individuals committed to preserving the cultural record and eliminating information disparity. I want to live in a world where my next door neighbor and I can both look at the same Wikipedia article and both get access to the same sources cited in it, even though I am affiliated with a great research university and she is not. And I want the Wikipedia editors who write that article, the editors in Bangladesh, in Argentina, in rural Wyoming, in New York City, to also have access to those same sources. Indeed, as Wikimedia's vision says, to have access to the sum of all human knowledge. Together, I think we can make that happen. Thank you. Thank you to all six of you for that kaleidoscopically exciting set of visions for what the DPLA can be. Um, we are five minutes from a break. I wonder if anybody wanted to do a lightning vision statement or two? Most welcome to grab a mic. If anybody has some uh, vision and perspective that they'd love to add, you don't have to, but you're more than welcome to it. Uh, oh, you, switch ones. Ah, sure, of course. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And if not, we will take our break, but I'd love to uh, welcome you if you'd like to. I think you guys have absolutely made uh, such a great case. Tim, were you going to add something to the, to the mix? Uh, <laughs> it's a, a kind of a small comment about collaborative creation. You know, you guys saw me up here with my phone. I was looking through what you guys were saying about what we were saying and then resharing. And it's just kind of a little commentary on, you know, how information dissemination is changing. Uh, sort of, you know, real time, uh, really critical, uh, incredibly ephemeral. You know, I think if there's one thing that I would want you to take away is that uh, ephemera are probably the thing that, it's probably the greatest thing for libraries to think about rather than books. Think about what today's ephemera look like and how it's going to be preserved, how it's going to be curated, and how it's going to be made into something lasting. Thank you. A lot of inspiration from you on many levels, but one thing that David Weinberger will talk about later in the day is how the DPLA as technology is thinking about itself as a platform, much as you've been saying government should be a platform. So uh, in ways that even you don't know in the background, your inspiration is flowing through to the DPLA. All right, I think we should take this as uh, a sign that people want to take a break um, for the next 35 minutes or so. We'll reconvene here at 11 Pacific time. Uh, that's 2 p.m. for our uh, friends in Boston and on the East Coast. And I hope you will enjoy the great uh, weather and scenery. And uh, thanks again to this wonderful group. Thank you.